Hey everybody, Tyler Smith here with another movie recommendation with Tyler's Movie Collection. So, as I've been mentioning the last few days, and this will go on for another uh, couple of weeks, uh, we are going to be talking about films that have been nominated for or have won Academy Awards. And so today's film is a favorite of mine. Uh, yesterday I talked about The Firm, which is a very strong thriller. Uh, a film that I think has a beat as far as tension. It is sometimes merciless, this film, that is Sam Raimi's A Simple Plan, which came out in 1998 stars Bridget Fonda, Bill Paxton, Billy Bob Thornton, uh, and others. And it's based on a novel by Scott Smith. And I have actually not read the novel A Simple Plan, but I did read another novel of his called The Ruins. And that book is also brutal. And so there is just he has a knack for uh, really delving into our fears and expressing it, expressing them in a way that just never lets us off the hook. Uh, it never, and when when the tension is paid off, it is not in a way that we want, and it is not in a way that is satisfying. And so, uh, a simple plan is about these three. I'm not going to say losers. Uh, two of them probably are, but just these three working class guys who find a, a crashed plane in the snow. Uh, up north. I don't know exactly where it is up north, but probably in the Montana area, maybe Wisconsin, Minnesota, uh, one of the Dakotas perhaps. Um, and so they find this crashed plane and they go looking in it and they find a big bag full of money. And so they decide, here's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to keep this money secret because somebody's probably looking for it. We will keep it safe in one place and give it a year and see if anybody comes looking for it. And if they don't, then we will split it up three ways and then we will all leave town. That is the plan. Isn't it simple? Uh, but of course, there's the idea that uh, three men can keep a secret if two of them are dead. And so things quickly start to fall apart. Um, as these characters, I said that they are they're lower, lower class or middle class, working class, I guess. Um, and some of them are a bit more desperate for that money than others. Some of them can't quite wait a year. And so tension gets ratcheted up as, uh, as these guys uh, go after each other and try to protect the secret from other people as well. Uh, people are killed. And what's, what's interesting is that it's not just a good thriller. It is definitely that. And it is very suspenseful and very moody with, uh, by the way, a wonderful score by Danny Elfman, who is doing some different things in this film than we usually associate with him. Uh, we usually think of very ornate uh, orchestrations, whereas this is actually very uh, stripped down. But it still feels like a Danny Elfman score, and I think it, it locks into the, the overall tone of the film. But the film isn't just moody, it's not just tense, it's also remarkably sad. Um, and in doing so, I w I'm not sure if I would say that it is, that it qualifies as noir, but it, it 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 hooks into that idea that you know the the double indemnity idea, the the general James M. Cain type of noir, where you just have regular people who stumble into this great opportunity to better themselves, and in doing so, their lives are basically ruined. And I don't mean to laugh at that. Uh, and so that's the standard idea. But this is a film that is that decides it wants to go deeper and look into the lives that have caused these men to be so desperate. And it is not easy to look at. Um, particularly heartbreaking work from uh, Billy Bob Thornton, who was nominated for Supporting Actor. Um, and the film was nominated for Adapted Screenplay. And uh, it's just, you know, we have a very specific idea of who Billy Bob Thornton is as an actor. And I think we forget that with Sling Blade and then something like like this um, and then a few others like Primary Colors and Bandits and The Man Who Wasn't There, that for a while he was one of the most, I don't know, interesting actors. And when you see this, you'll see why um, it is it is really devastating to watch uh, his character and to watch more information come out about him. Um, but it is a, a really wonderful film. It, it will haunt you. I saw it in the theater at the time, and it has stayed with me 
for years and years. It is available uh, online now. If you enjoy thrillers, seek it out. Uh, I highly recommend it. Thank you.